Intel's 8-core CPU is so close. The Ryzen 7 2800H, AMD wants to make a trade, and I've got a deal. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMelt. Before you get started, don't forget to check out the GamerMelt Discord server, the community where you can talk all things gaming and hardware. First up for today, it looks like Intel's 8-core Coffee Lake S chip is coming really soon, thanks to a couple recent leaks. First up, an 8-core Xeon E CPU running on the Coffee Lake S platform was spotted on Intel's official site under the Technical Library tab. This is the third Xeon E CPU to make its way from the Coffee Lake architecture, with the other two parts being mobile chips. The CPU is listed as an engineering sample, so we should expect it before too long. Of course, that's just the Xeon E part, Intel's more mainstream professional line of CPUs. What about the 8-core consumer chip? Well, that's what the second leak is for. The chip was spotted on an Ashes of the Singularity benchmark. I'd assume it's the mainstream part, given it wouldn't make the most sense to test their server chip on a video game. I guess weirder things have happened, but I'd argue that it's a pretty good sign Intel does have a mainstream 8-core chip. And like its Xeon counterpart, it's not too far off either. Next up for today, one of AMD's upcoming high-performance mobile chips was put through its paces on the game everyone loves to hate, Ashes of the Singularity. Initially spotted last month, the Ryzen 7 2800H is part of the company's upcoming high-performance chips for the mobile segment. While we already know the base frequency, as well as its core count of 4 cores and 8 threads, we now have some gaming benchmarks, along with, given these are accurate, an integrated Vega 11 GPU. Now, while it is really hard to compare one benchmark to another from a separate user with a different methodology, WCCF Tech puts this above a 2200G, and given it comes with Vega 11 instead of Vega 8, it's really not too far-fetched. And for those who aren't familiar with these chips, if this is true, it's impressive to say the least, considering the 2200G is a desktop APU with a TDP of 65 watts, while the 2800H is a mobile chip with an expected TDP of just 35 watts. Of course, these aren't guaranteed to be correct, but if this is the case, we're looking at a very decent high-performance mobile processor. Next up for today, AMD decided to do something a little odd. They're offering the first 40 winners of Intel's i7-8086 sweepstake the chance to trade their shiny new 40th anniversary CPU for a 16-core Threadripper 1950X. Yeah, while there are apparently some steps users will have to complete prior to the trade, which won't be available until the 25th, it's clear AMD means business. Now, that's definitely a really great trade, given you're able to utilize the insane multi-threaded performance, or you just want to sell it and make a couple dollars. It's up to you, I guess. For those interested, you can check that out in the description below. Lastly for today is the deal of the day. The Core i5-8600 is $15 off on Newegg, bringing it down to $214.99. If you're interested, check out that affiliate link in the description below. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD's upcoming high-performance mobile chip, or just ready for Intel's mainstream 8-core CPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.